Here's how you can improve your breathing in freestyle. Now the most important thing is to be relaxed in the water. When you stick your hand out in front and you start to rotate onto your side, it's really important that you don't rush this motion. A lot of swimmers just drop the hand and go right into the next stroke and it makes it really difficult to pause and get that breath that you need. So make sure you're exhaling through your nose so that way when you turn your head to take a breath, you can open your mouth one eye is in the water and one eye is above the water. Really stretch it out on your side, get that breath. As you move forward, your head is actually gonna create a wave which is gonna give you an air pocket to get that oxygen. Once you get the oxygen, you drop your head, eyes down to the bottom, and then you initiate your catch into the next stroke. One of the biggest mistakes that I see swimmers make time and time again with regard to breathing is simply not pacing yourself correctly. Now it's really important to focus on technique and that's what I shared in the introduction of the video. But once you get the technique down, a lot of people still have difficulty with breathing and a lot of this has to do with how you're pacing yourself through the swim workout. Now over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing the endurance challenge test set in the My Swim Pro app. And this is where you go 5 100s freestyle. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram, make sure you give me a follow and I'm sharing a behind the scenes of what it's like to do that. But what you do is you go 5 100s freestyle on a threshold interval, so you're not gonna get a lot of rest. And if you go through this set too fast in the beginning, you're gonna fall apart and the breathing is gonna be that much more difficult. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys a sneak peek in the behind the scenes of doing that endurance challenge test set from my perspective as a more advanced swimmer and also share Nick's perspective as a more beginner swimmer. We're doing the same set, the same test set with two very different intervals and very different swimming levels, but we're working on the same skills. And that has to do with pacing yourself and making sure that you don't blow all of your gas on the first 100, or the first part of a workout really, so that way you can be consistent. And all of that ties back into the breath. Okay baby, it's time for the main set. Here's the test set. We got five 100s on the 120, and I'm trying to hit a 115 or better on all of them. I think I can do it, but we're gonna have to see what we can do, here we go. It's game time, baby, let's get it. All right, here we go. Woo, and there we have it. Day number one complete of the 30-day fast. I think the workout went pretty well. The test set went smoothly. I felt really good in my stroke. I'd like to see myself improve a little bit over the course of the month. So when I do this again, I'd like to go a little bit faster. And I also want to push the interval a little bit faster. I think I was under 110 on all of the 100s, but I know I can be a little bit faster. And I think it's just going to take getting used to the fact that I'm swimming a little bit more dehydrated, not having anything in my system. And it's going to take a few days at least to get used to that. But when I do get used to it, I know there's gonna be some more speed. Back at the pool, doing the endurance challenge test set again. We're gonna try and see what I can do on these five 100s freestyle. Last time I was holding about 108, 109. So now I'd like to go a little bit faster. I don't know guys, the warm up felt pretty smooth, but my shoulders are already fatigued and that was only 200. We got a quick drill set, then we're gonna head into the main set of five 100s. Wish me luck. And there we have it, another test set is complete and I was able to swim a little bit faster than the last time. I think I was about 107 and 106 on all five of them. So I'm making progress. I'm doing the endurance challenge test set series over a 30 day fast. And I'm gonna be doing a recap video of what that's been like. So make sure you're subscribed over on my channel to see what that full result looks like. We're gonna see what Nick can do. Hey swim fans, I'm Nick Newell, VP of engineering at My Swim Pro. And I'm here in the pool this month testing out the endurance challenge test set. The team has been really hard at work putting this feature into the app and now it's time for me and you to put in our hard work in the pool to swim this thing. Now with the need for speed test set, it was all about getting pumped up to give it your all in the 100. Well my tip for the endurance challenge test set is to keep calm. For me it's all about breathing. I need to keep my heart rate down by breathing nice and steady and slow. And so I'm gonna give it a go here. My interval time is two minutes. I'm trying to do this on the two minutes, which means a goal time of 153. That's five 100s with a 153 goal time. This is gonna to be tough, but here we go. Let's go vertical. All right, now check this out. The app's given me an extra one minute in between before my test set. So I'm gonna use this time to catch my breath, lower my heart rate. I'm gonna do a quick meditation and then it's time for the test set, let's go.
Okay. Oh my. I got a Okay. See? That's four sets. And, oh man. I came in. I think I hit it on the fourth set at 153. But as you can tell, I can barely breathe. Okay. I just gotta calm my breath. I hit the last rep. This ain't easy. You can do this. You can do this. Here we go. Swim fans, I was so close on the endurance challenge test set. I hit four reps and then I got to the fifth one and I just lost my gas. That's okay, it happens to the best of us. I'll be back in the pool in a couple days giving it another go. And like Ferris always says, you're laughing at everybody that's on the couch. So get out there, try that endurance challenge test set. We'll keep improving the app and you just keep swimming. Nick has been making incredible progress in his endurance and also his technique. Super proud of him for tackling those five 100s on the two minute. You can do it too. Make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app, but there's more. There are so many people around the world doing incredible things in the sport of swimming, and we wanna be able to showcase some of those stories with you guys. Can you imagine swimming without arms? How about losing 100 pounds through swimming? In case you missed it this month, we shared some incredible stories of swimmers reaching their goals. Be sure to watch our documentary on Abbas Karimi, the Afghan refugee who was born without arms. He overcame adversity and competed at the Paralympics in Tokyo. He is so fast and his outlook on life and swimming is so inspiring, so make sure you watch that video. We also did a spotlight on Mike, who lost over 100 pounds swimming with the My Swim Pro app and has successfully kept it off for years thanks to his training and improved lifestyle habits. Now he's in great shape, did an Ironman, and he's inspiring other swimmers. We're always looking to share gold medal moments from our community, so if we've helped you reach your goals in the water, leave us a comment below or send us an email so we can feature your story. Thanks again for tuning in. Wish you guys the very best and happy swimming.